Hi and welcome back to Tanya's Beauty Box. I am Tanya and I am here to share with you a beauty bite using the Natasha Denona Cranberry Palette. This is my very first and probably will be my only um, Natasha Denona, Denona um, palette because they are quite pricey but I wanted to see all the what the hubbub was about and here are the shades. I got this off of the BoxyCharm pop-up for $12. I think they're originally $48. So these are the shades. That's moving around in the pan. I don't think they're... The shimmery ones are moving around in the pan. I'll give you some swatches. From left to right. And here are the colors. So these are the colors I'm going to be using. I just felt like um, I just got it in the mail today, and I felt like, well, let's do let's do a look with it really quick and see what we come up with. First thing I'm going to do, I already have on my um, Revlon Kiss Tropical Coconut Lip Balm, but in honor of Becca and the fact that they will be um, closing their store, their brand, in the end of September of this year, I found that I do have a Becca lip gloss. And this is in the color Dahlia. It is a plumping lip gloss. But I thought it would go good with the cranberry look that I'm about to put on for you guys. So that's in honor of Becca. I already did my brows with what is quickly becoming a favorite from Sephora. It is the um, Brow Shaper Pencil in the color Chocolate Brown. And it is waterproof and it's quickly becoming a favorite. I really like um, how my brows are when I do my uh, brows with that product. So the first thing we're going to do is take the glasses off so I won't be able to see anything. We're going to put on some... Urban Decay Primer Potion. I have a mirror off to my left here that I will be looking in periodically. And I uh, will put more on one side than the other, right? That's how we do things. More on one side than the other. <laughs> so I hope everyone is having a wonderful day or evening or afternoon or night whenever you're um, viewing this I'm taking please this well as much as you can the glare from the window I'm trying to get more light so that the colors show through better on camera so until I get some soft box lights that's what we're dealing with so here we go here and here are the colors. Well, let's see. More like that. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this color here. And it's called Sakura. So with Sakura, I'm going to take my very favorite brush. And this is the BMX Crease Brush by Moda Pro. Royal and Land Nickel. And we're going to go into Sakura. Now... Kick it up some powder and let's go. Already I'm liking the fact that you're able to see this color. And I don't know if it's because of the palette or because of the reason I have the window open well the shade up so I'm not sure but you're definitely able to see this color so that's good I did put some powder under my eyes to brighten up under there next we're gonna go in with as soon as I find it my Firma 202 we're gonna go in with this purple color and it is called Blossom. 
this is my angle brush and you know I always tip the point down and get some of that color on the tip that one isn't um, as powdery as the first one we're gonna put this in our crease never fails whenever you're doing a video your phone goes off right So I'm liking the color payoff. I can see why people like Natasha Denota shadows. But yeah, I don't have hundreds of dollars to be paying. Not even 50 bucks for, I guess at the end of the day it's $10 a shadow. But no, no thank you. There are other brands out here that cost less, that perform very simil similarly or summarily potato potato next I'm going to take a flat shader brush from crown and that is um, coming off there we're going to go into let's do something surprising let's go into this color here right in the middle and this is called botanic we're going to go into botanic it's loose in the pan I mean, it's loose in the, in the um, casing for whatever reason. Let me kick some of that off. Yeah. So this is a bright coppery orange. I'm thinking maybe I should have used my finger for this okay put a little bit more on this side seems like it came off a little bit better on the other on my left eye than my right all right and because I want to play games with myself. Let's go in with this last color. So we're staying away from that pink over there. And this is called Nude. Yes. <laughs> this is called Nude. Okay. You know, sometimes they have it backwards on the back of how the colors actually are. So I have my nude there. I'll put this on the front. Now I did feel that part do a little bit of fallout. Now what I want to do is I want to go back in with the um what is this? With the blossom and bring that in a little bit more on top of the botanic which is the orangier color I'm having a great day my basement decided to back up today from the washing the wash basin so it has to do with the lovely washing machine backing up the drain. So I'm going to have someone come out tomorrow and deal with that. Get the drain, the snake, the drain snaked. It's always something going on for the stretch of time and things are just going hey, okay And then something happens and it's like, did you get comfortable? Did you think everything was going to be cool? And you say to yourself, yes, I did. And I'm going in with the lip bars, straight out of Patience eyeliner. It is a black. And just to change it up just a little bit, I'm going to be taking Pixie by Petra. I got this in my boxy charm, and this is the deep plum liner, and we're gonna line our lower lash line.
and that's to tie in that deep plum color that we used in our in our look today in the um, crease we're gonna finish this off with my Anastasia lash brag mascara I really like it it finds all my lashes as little as they may be my eye want to start to water all of a sudden And this is today's Beauty Bite. So here's the eyes and the lips. And that is a look. So I'm happy that you're actually able to see what's going on. So maybe having that window open, just that little bit of natural light, even though it's a glare, maybe I'll move over some. So I'm um, kind of in the glare so you're not getting that much of a glare but you can actually see the eye look my eye want to water give me one second but this is today's beauty bite i thank you so much for spending some time watching um this video on my channel for your subscription your subscription to my channel for rating for commenting i really appreciate the support and i will see you in another video possibly another beauty bite i'm waiting on some things to come from the lip bar it seems like i'm buying a lot of stuff from the lip bar lately but i'm going to be trying out their three-in-one um tint moisturizer i got a powder i got their primer and their concealer so I'll be trying those items out as soon as they show up and we'll do a beauty bite with that new with those new products to me and the newest products will be the primer and the um, the three-in-one tint all right stay whimsical let your inner whimsy shine brightly and I will see you in the next video bye